Hey guys, Sam from Learns Outdoor, and today I'm pretty excited because I'm trying out some new swim baits that I got yesterday in my uh, latest tackle warehouse order, which are the Kitech Easy Shiner swim baits. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of them right here. I've got one pack in the four and a half inch, which honestly I'm probably not going to use today. And then I've got three packs in this uh, three and a half inch size. I have two packs in the uh, three inch then one pack in the two inch. So to start off, I went ahead and rigged up three different types of swim baits on my three rods. The first rod, I have a tiny little one eighth ounce like crappie max jig head with a three inch um, Kitech Easy Shiner swim bait. And then my next rod, I have a three and a half inch swim bait on a little ball head jig head. And then the next rod, I have another three and a half inch swim bait on just like a swim bait hook. So hopefully one of those will work today. I think the white color will work the best. Well, it's called Sight Flash, but I think that'll work the best today because the water is a little bit dingier than it usually is here. So anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get to fishing. All right, guys, I'm in the canoe now, and uh, it is a fairly windy day, so I think I'm going to make my way into one of the coves of this lake, so I hopefully uh, don't get blown around too much. Oop, is that a fish? There we go, first fish of the day. Which this guy was pretty darn shallow. I wasn't sure how shallow these fish would be. Um, I wasn't really expecting them to be that shallow, but there we go. First one came off that white swim bait, which uh, is all I've thrown so far. And uh, that was like, I don't know, roughly six, seven minutes into fishing. Not bad at all, I'll definitely take that uh, during this cold weather. Anyway, we'll let him go. another oh whoa this one's tiny I still have him I still have him wow <laughs> how did I even catch this guy that was like two casts later that is a baby though <laughs> I'll take him though he was really shallow too that's crazy though I mean sometimes I don't know what these fish are thinking but that just shows you how aggressive they are I'm trying to show how long the swim bait is compared to the fish Probably a six inch fish with that uh, three and a half inch swim bait. The fish are usually small here, but uh, not usually this small. But anyway, I'll let them go. No way. The next cast. Did I foul hook him? What, what's going on here? Is this a bluegill? Oh, did I foul hook a bluegill? I did, I guess. He might have swiped at it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. There must just be a bunch of fish. Back in this corner. Well, it came out really easily, luckily, so. It's interesting, I got a bluegill. That one, wow, they're both have, or all the fish I've caught have come off of like, pretty much right off of the bank. And in uh, definitely some pretty shallow water. So uh, I think the plan for today after finding out, uh, you know, where I've caught these fish so far is probably just going to be going to uh, the back of all these little coves and casting up in the shallower water and hopefully catching some more fish. Plus in these coves there's less, like, uh, disturbance from the wind so I don't get blown around as much. But anyway, there we go, like fourth fish of the day. That one, wow, next cast. They are stacked up in these little coves. This guy's tiny. <clears throat> Two casts in a row, I mean this cove is tiny, but they're all kind of just back up in these little coves. Of course now I'm drifting so far into it, I've probably scared them all off. All right, well I'll take him. Got one. I was not, or I was paddling, not even reeling my bait, and uh, I got one. Now we're kind of more in the main lake. 
and uh, it's just a little guy, another, another little guy. And uh, so far, all the fish have come off this little, the white swim bait, which is pretty much the only one I've been throwing. I threw the uh, three inch a little bit, but uh, I didn't get anything. Anyway, another fish. Oh man, I think I had a fish on. It kind of looked like my line was uh, like going out or something, but it, he bit the tail off. Uh, I was just like paddling and this was probably just falling down to the bottom. I think one bit it while that was happening. Got him. Uh, thought there'd be a fish over there in the back of a little cove, just like most of the fish we've caught today. Another little guy though. There was one that hit it a second ago that seemed like it could have been bigger, but I don't know. Oh, and the hook kind of came right out. Except he's flailing, so it got stuck again. There we go, all right. Seventh fish of the day. It's our sixth bass. I'm back in the cove that I started in, and uh, this is where I caught most of my fish, so hopefully I'll be able to catch some more fish before uh, it gets dark and I can't, can't fish anymore. Oh, I have one. That's like the third time that's happened today. I've been paddling around, not doing anything with my swim bait, and then one just bites it. Uh, it does sink kind of slow with just a one eighth ounce jig head, so... Uh, it probably gives it some action as it's fallen to the bottom, but uh, there we go. Already working, like that was my second or third cast in this cove. So uh, I think this is definitely the best spot of the day. Well, my fishing session today got cut a little bit short because I forgot to bring extra batteries for my GoPro camera, but uh, that's okay because we still caught a good bit of fish. I think I caught eight fish total, uh, if you include that bluegill that I foul hooked at the beginning. But today I caught every single fish on this little Kitek Easy Shiner in the three and a half inch size in the Sight Flash color, which is definitely pretty much my go to color in these uh, Kitek swim baits. And I really just love these swim baits because they work in pretty much any uh, conditions. They worked well today. It was 50 degrees in the middle of January, but they also work great in the summer and they're, you know, a great option to fish pretty much all year round. So if you want to pick these swim baits up for yourselves, I'll have a link in the description, but you can also get them. Pretty much anywhere, like if you want to get them off Tackle Warehouse or at your local Dick's Sporting Goods. They sell them a lot of places, but I'll have a link for them in the, in the description. As well as these owner um, round jig heads that I was using today, which are really high quality and worked well. I don't think I really missed like a single fish after it got on there well. That's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you did enjoy this video or found it helpful if you're considering buying these, these uh, Kitex swim baits. And if you are considering buying them, I would definitely recommend them. They work really well. Like I've already said like <laughs> quite a few times. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video.